Number two, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. If the only Shakespeare play you ever heard of is Romeo and Juliet, you may have wondered, why hasn't Disney made their own version of Romeo and Juliet? Well, to answer that question, they already did. Just like how The Lion King was an adaptation of Shakespeare's Hamlet, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, was an adaptation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. It scored a 67% on Rotten Tomatoes, making it the second highest rated direct-to-video Disney sequel. The movie takes place after the end of the original movie, but it has a time skip to years later, after Simba has his second child, after defeating the Ghost of Scar in The Lion Guard, after having his voice go from Matthew Broderick to Cam Clark to Rob Lowe, then back to Broderick, then subsequently back to Lowe. Anyway, the movie is centered around the budding relationship between Simba's daughter, Kiara, and the Lion Cub Scar chose to be his heir, Kovu, and the vengeful Zira, who plans revenge on Simba for her and her family's banishment for their loyalty to Scar. When I first saw this movie, I was shocked about how much it resembled the original movie. But then I recently discovered that storyboarding and pre-production for this movie took place at the Disney Animation Studio, where the original was made. Do with that information what you will, but I'd consider it the first Disney film to be a hybrid a hybrid of theatrical and direct-to-video Disney movies. It also appears to be one of the most popular direct-to-video Disney movies. Why? Well, for one thing, it was referenced on South Park, season 15, episode 2 to be precise. It also appears to be a favorite of Billy Mation, one of the biggest storytime animators on YouTube, because she visually referenced it in her videos multiple times, mostly through drawings of Kovu. So, if you finished The Lion King, and want more Lion King, then I'd highly recommend watching Simba's Pride. As I just said, this was one of the most popular direct-to-video Disney movies, but it isn't the only one that worked so closely with the original source material, nor is it the only one that has a high rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I said this was the second highest rated direct-to-video Disney sequel, so that begs the question, what is the highest rated direct-to-video Disney sequel? Well, you'll soon find out.